So welcome back to this series on where we're building a YouTube search application with inside Flutterflow. Hope you're enjoying it so far. This is episode 10 and in this particular episode we're going to focus our attention on creating a Lottie animation which is going to give the user some visual indicator that actually something is happening when the searches take place to our API. Um, really, really simple to do. I've put a dedicated video together for this because we need to set some application state. We're going to create some components as well or at least a single component to create and to reuse the Lottie animation throughout. And of course, in the next episode, we're then going to focus our attention on actually creating the detail page, which is going to then represent and show the video some further details about the video. And we can also play the video with inside our Flutterflow application as well. So I hope you enjoy following along and let's get cracking. Let's make these changes. So here we are then within our search screen and we're going to want to introduce a Lottie animation into our application. Now there is a dedicated widget with inside Flutterflow that allows us to include a Lottie animation. If you're not familiar with Lottie animations, we'll show you what those look like in a second. We're just going to want to put our loading indicator just between this, this, this kind of the search text field there and just above the history text label. So it just gives the user some visual cue that something is happening, actually happening when the search has taken place. So let's head over to Lottie files.com now so the link is in the description of course if you need to head over to this particular website but um please do go there now and uh, please do sign up for an account of course it's absolutely free um there's lots of animations that we can download into our application now the one that we're going to use is a free one and there's plenty of free ones on here but there's also some paid for ones as well so on the home page we're just going to do a search for um loading indicator and hit enter and we're just going to change the filter to just all the free ones because they're the only ones that we're interested in. Now let's scroll down. Now we're looking for a loading indicator which is quite, it's quite slim but horizontal. Let's just move here on the second page. Let's scroll up. So here we go. This one here looks pretty good. So let's just choose that one there. And then on here, it's showing you a preview of the animation. And um, we don't like the blue, we want to change that. Okay, so there's a good thing about these type of animations, you can actually change them. So if you just scroll down here, you can say edit animation. This will take you into another tab inside your browser. And up the top right here, you can see unique colors. We just simply need to select that one. Let's move the slider across here to the red, and that will give us that kind of YouTube red look, which is kind of in keeping with the design of our application. So once we've kind of got that, let's um, hit the, the download option just up there. And then we can then download this particular animation to our downloads folder onto our, our machine. Let's now head back over to Flutterflow and let's upload the animation. So here we are now in Flutterflow. Let's move over to the media option here on the left hand side. Let's choose upload media. And um, here you can see I've got a couple of um, loaders that I've already loaded. The loader under, uh, so loader two, which is the one that we just downloaded. Um, I've actually got one specifically that I want to use with inside this application. Of course, if you need to use that one as well, please see the link in the description. You can then download that to your machine. It's called loading, indica loading underscore indicator. So let's just select that one and hit open. So it's very, very similar to the one that we've just downloaded loaded okay so that's now all uploaded let's move back over to the UI builder and let's in fact the widget tree here and let's now start including that inside our application so just on the column here and um, we just under the search we're going to want to introduce a container which is just going to sit in there so just quite simply hit the little plus let's go to container and then let's drag that container just up between the two there so it's just in between search term and container now you need to do that quite quickly if you take too long to kind of hold the left mouse button down you'll find it might drop actually into either some rows or or, or another kind of like um, container that you've got on in with inside the the widget tree but we just moved it there and I'm just gonna hit the little plus here and I'm gonna just do a search for Lottie and just select Lottie animation and you'll see here you've got like a very brief preview there of an animation I'm just going to change the container here and I'm just going to change that to 100% in fact just choose it to infinity that goes right across of course that doesn't quite look right but we're going to quickly change that choose Lottie animation on the left hand side let's choose where it says network we want to change that to asset because it's the local asset within inside the project that we just uploaded we want to use choose the asset animation of loading indicator or whichever one that you've just downloaded from the Lottie website just select that and then you'll see you'll get uh, a, a bit of a brief preview there of, of what it looks like we just want to change the height though so just down here on, on the the bottom here we want to change the height to say 30 and what we'll also do is we'll just go into just 
just choose the box fit here just we want to fit the width we want this to go right across there and it will just constrain it then to the to the parent and then on the container we just want to choose container and we also too want to just change the height to 30. that should be good so let's move over to test mode now let's have a quick look to see what that looks like okay here we are in test mode let's hit the search and there we have our animation. So let's just make a few little UI tweaks here. We can see it's hidden right to the edges here. And we've got a bit of a space here. Let's just move back over to the application. So we've inside here, inside the actual container. Let's just put some padding in um, either side. There we go, just to bring it in. And maybe this row has perhaps got too much padding at the top there. So let's just drop this down to 10. And I think that should look pretty good. Just hit back into test mode, hit reload. And there we have it. There is our search so now we want to now work on the visibility of this actual um the actual uh, lottie animation itself so but firstly what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a component so a component that is going to allow us to reuse this so we can actually have this component set up in one place and then we can reuse that component on a number of different pages within inside our application so when when you think of comp components think of reusability if you create something in one place you might want to reuse it again in various places which means you only need to change it in one place and then it'll be reflected within within the full part of your application so let's move back over to the application so on the actual container what we're going to do we're just going to right click on it and we're going to say convert to component and we're going to we're going to give the component a name of just say loading and hit create and then your components are then displayed up here so if you've not been here before then just hit the little components option here and you've got the components listed here and all your pages are listed here and of course if you depending on which one you have selected here if you hit the plus you can either create a new component or if you're on the page you can create a new page so it kind of adapts to to however the whichever tab you're kind of on so here we are so we have we're inside our component this is our loading component we're not going to make any changes here because because the component has already been converted for us. So if we go back to the, um, the search page, you can see here now this little diamond symbol is representing that it's now a component. So you can just select that. And of course, um, you've got limited options here because the component um, only allows certain properties to be set. Of course, the widget, this the container and the Lottie animation is with inside that component. So what we now need to do is we now need to create some page state. Now the page state needs to track the um, the actual loading. So we're going to create a, uh, some page state called is loading. Of course, this animation, this lottery animation, this component is going to be displayed when loading is happening. And of course, once the API request is finished, then we'll set that loading indicator to be false, and then it will then be hidden from view. So how do we do that? Let's hit, hit make sure we've got search page selected. Let's move over to the right option here on the right hand side called state management. And because we're on the actual search page, this piece of state is going to be specific to the actual page. Whereas previously we've been, we, we've been creating application state, which is available throughout the whole of the application. We're just going to do page state here. Okay. So as soon as the page is, is off screen, then that, that state is destroyed effectively. So let's hit add field and we're just going to create one called is loading on here and it's going to be of type boolean it's going to be either true or false um, it's not going to be nullable um, and the initial the initial value will be false automatically for us so just hit confirm and then now we've inside this application we're now just going to just select the um the actual uh, the lottie and the actual component itself and we're just going to move over to con conditional visibility let's just turn that on and up here we're now going to say um, it's a condition and the condition is going to be just a single condition and if we just say the first value and set that and we're just going to go to the page state of is loading and if that value is equal to and then we're going to set the value here and we're going to say specific value just scroll down here and we're just going to choose true so we know that this component will only be displayed if the loading is set as true so the question is is how do we make that happen so we now need to do that with inside our api calls with inside this particular page so let's move over to the action flow editor now so let's move over to the actual search first and this is so we're just going to move over to the action flow editor just here and we're going to hit open and we now need to set the is loading to be true at this particular point here. So let's just hit plus. Let's add the action. Let's just move that action up there by clicking on the arrow. It's going to move it above the API call. And we're just going to make sure that's selected. And we're going to say update page state. 
we're going to say add field we're going to choose is loading and we're going to select the is loading set field and now set that value here and we're going to set that to true okay of course so that's going to be true at this point we're going to make our api call everything's going to happen down here we're going to go down the happy path here of true of course we could go down this path as well so what we need to do is we actually need to add in another action just above this one and set that then back to false of course the loading is completed at that point so just hit the plus let's add the action let's just move it up so it's above that closed dialog and and then all we need to do is go over to page state here and go to add field and we're just going to do exactly the same as what we did before except except of course we're going to set the value now to to false so that's all that we need to do so let's hit close now we're going to also going to have to do the same thing as well for our other searches that are taking place of course we've got the the actual search um, option here we're also going to have to set the state with inside that particular search as well so just choose the um, the actual uh, the icon button here just go up to the uh, the action uh, actions open up the action flow editor and we just need to do the same thing here so i'm going to spare the time i'm just going to do that right now so i've made those changes now so we have our update state up here where we're just setting it is loading to be true and of course i've just done the same thing down here and, and set it to be false so let's hit close let's move back to the test mode let's do an instant reload of our application So let's go to the search screen and let's hit one of the search terms. So let's, for example, choose Flutterflow. You should briefly see the, um, the Lottie animation. There it is. And then, of course, the, the drawer is closed. We are sending it back to false, of course, but then it just disappears. Um, so that is quite simply very um, straightforward. And then we can also choose on here and say, um, let's just type in training, hit enter. And the same thing happens there as well. And of course, we then receive a whole new set of videos. So next up, we need to include our animation on our home page as well because we've got those API calls being made. So let's now add that now. So on the left hand side, we have our column, we have our row and our list view. We want to put our little loading indicator in between the two, uh, the two widgets. So on the column here, just hit the plus. Let's add in the components. So just choose the little diamond option here. And then let's just choose the loading indicator. And let's just hold our left mouse button down here. Let's move it up, wait for it to go purple or blue. Just drop it in there. There it is. So it's right between the two. And now let's set up our page state as well on our home page. So just hit home page, go over to the page state option, hit add field. And we also want to create one called is loading on here. Let's choose the type as a Boolean. It's not nullable. Let's just hit confirm. And that's our page state variable created. So we've inside our um, our loading indicator over here. We now need to change the, um, the visibility. So let's move over to conditional visibility turn that on and then in the conditions we just want to do a single condition we're going to say the first value is then uh, is then to the page state here is the is loading and it's going to be equal to true so just as we did before uh, we only want to show the animation when we have that loading going on so hit confirm and then what we now need to do of course is now make that change with inside our api call so if you recall that we do this in two places we do it on the home page when the application loads and then of course we've got that when people actually can choose the refinements okay so with inside the actual home page itself let's just select that let's do it here go to the actions and go to open and here we're going to set our action um, just above the api call so we've got this initial search check and it's just going to be here so hit the little plus hit add action let's move that up here let's go here and actually say update page state add field is loading choose the is loading and of course we're going to set the value to be true at this particular point just going to move down here as well so we're going to follow the happy path the result comes from api down here and of course it's at this point we're going to now want to set it back to false so even if we go down an error path we still want to set the loading indicator to be false we don't want it, we want to hide it regardless of what we do here so just hit plus hit add action go to update page state add field choose the is loading choose the is loading there as well and then set the value and of course it's going to be automatically set to false for us so hit close so that's at that point we also now need to do it on the refinement so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now to spare you the time and i will be right back so i just made those changes here you can see we've got update widget state then at the top and we've got update widget state down here so if i just hit close and that's been applied there to the container which is a part of our sort of refinement pills that we had at the top there
So one thing I've just spotted that um, I've done, I've made a mistake here is that we've got a little error message up here. If I just select that, it says local state variable is loading is non-nullable, but has a no default value set. So by mistake, I've actually removed the uh, the nullable tick box. So let's just um, just choose that. Let's just choose is loading. Let's just click, the, click that and let's just put nullable back and just hit confirm. So that little error should disappear. There we go. So let's go back to test mode now. Let's give it a go. So here we go then, so if I just um, select one of these options here, so let's just choose that one there. You can see our animation then displays and then disappears. Of course, if I just do a quick reload, you'll see that the animation also appears as well at the very beginning, there it goes. So that's it for this particular video where we've used Lottie animations to represent our pro sort of our progress bar for our API calls. In the next video, we're going to step it up a notch and we're going to start creating an additional page of inside our application. And it's that page that's going to show the details of our video. It's going to allow us to actually hit and play one of the videos as well. Um, of course, and we're going to need to make a further API call to bring in further details about the author's content from their channel. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and I hope you're enjoying this series and of course please do check out some of my other videos on the channel as well and until the next time we'll see you soon